And the name of this parish is St. Mary. Oh, gosh so, sakes. Can you believe it? Yeah. Another Mary. Yep, that's it. That's We're beautiful. here. Yeah, welcome. So I know those kids weren't welcoming you back to RV Park. We no. love kids, but I have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they can keep them. We've learned the weekends, we leave the campground. Uh -huh. yeah. During the week, it's just us oh. world travelers, you know, the right. full timers are in there. We so the pool is usually empty. We call them OPK. Oh, yeah. Other people's, Other people's kids. kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. And yep. we love children, don't get it oh, wrong. Oh, I know, me too. Me too. Well, St. Mary Parish is the most ghostly parish in all of South Central Louisiana, Sue. Mm. So, okay if I tell ghost stories along the way? You, you can sure do anything can. you'd like. How about pirate stories? Anything you oh, like. Oh, those are our favorite. Some Civil War history. <laughs> you can tell holy ghost stories, too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm going to start by talking about this beautiful tree that we're sitting it is under. Gorgeous. I already... This is a I southern it. live oak tree. And there is a way that the arborists have figured out that we can approximate the age of this particular species. Without it's a four, cutting it. Yeah, without cutting it down and counting all the lines in it. It's a four-step process that starts by measuring the girth of a tree. Okay. So I'll go up there about four and a half or five feet above the swell, kind of where there's some straight lines, and I'll wrap the rope around it, put a mark, it stretched it out, measured it, it came to 240 inches. And that means... So how many feet is that? Who's the mathematician just, on board today? Just do it. <laughs> 20 <laughs> feet. 40, 20 feet. Yeah, Rich is good at it. <laughs> so it has a girth of 20 feet. And they have figured out that this tree will grow so big in so many years and kind of slow down and grow a little bigger and then slow down and grow a little bigger. So you start adding up the years and taking away the distance until this tree aged in at 477 years old. Wow. This is almost a 500 year old oak tree that we're sitting in the shade of this morning. How long has your house been here? 1910. And then I have another oak tree, southern live oak, on the other side of Camp Caviar here. It's a little bit smaller, 18 feet in girth. So she aged in at a mere 414 years old. So a baby over there at 414. <laughs> Was it a baby of this one? Maybe? You never know. Maybe. Could have been. Could be. I have another one down here by the river oh, wow. that sticks out over the water. And I would have had to get my P-Rogue out, which is a Cajun canoe, to be able to wrap the rope around it. I did not do all of that. <laughs> but it's easily over uh, 300. Uh, 400 years. Oh, it is over 400. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And I have these two cool cuttings of trees sitting in the yard here. 